So about letting your imagination fly, definitely use it as much as you possibly can to just think up what your um, superpower is going to be if you're going to go for a superhero. Um, think about what characteristics you want that um, superhero to have and take yourself away to a quiet kind of place. I like to go to the beach, that's where I get really good inspiration. But it also happens sometimes if I just go for a walk, um, go into the garden, I like to sit in nature, somewhere quiet generally and just get a few good ideas. Also, what I like to do to get some inspiration is to doodle and draw with a pencil. And actually when you're making those um, those uh, movements with your hand it's actually activating something in your brain which is going to stir up your creativity as well so I like to doodle and I jot down different ideas so even though you're supposed to have a proper structure to a story and obviously I do have structure to my stories you know you've got your beginning your middle your end you've got your main characters or character if it's a short paragraph like you guys are doing. Um, you can have like a, a, a sort of a conundrum. So I'm trying to think of another name to call that. You've got a, a kind of a, a plot and there needs to be something that needs to be worked out. So quite a lot of older children like to have a problem in the story and then you then, you, you then come up with a solution for them solving that problem. Um, I tend to kind of have a bit of a, a sort of, a, yes, a problem or an issue, but more kind of like a silly thing happening along the way and that's my way of doing it. So you figure out what you want, but the way that I come up with these different ideas or silly things or whatever is just by doodling. And I like to get some words as well that I would want to put in my story. So I literally just take a, a notepad like this and I take a pen or a pencil and then just jot down some of my words. Um, I start off with a bit of an order and then I end up just like, you know, scoring things out, arrows, um, I do big like um, stars where it's really important for me to remember one particular piece of wording um, like something down here I wrote coloured scarf in big bold writing because obviously it was really important for me for that picture to have a big bold colour a big uh, bright coloured scarf which is exactly what happens in the fourth book when they're, in, they're going to a fashion show and in one of the pictures, Sundos is trying on a scarf because um, obviously lots of people here wear headscarves and I wanted the headscarf to be something really quite vibrant. So, you know, I write these things down in capitals or um, I like to, you know, use colours to highlight some areas too, uh, like this. So green means that I've done it. I've already written it down in my um, book. I have lots of ideas that I write down that never come into my stories as well but it's kind of like a brain dump you know and I then go back after I've done a brain dump of all my ideas and well words and descriptive words and I then go in and put it in some sort of order when I'm um, typing it up so that's when I kind of start to move things around once it's all typed up a little bit um, but the actual inspiration to get me started comes with wow words and um, phrases and key things that I want to cover in the books and this is the notebook that I've used for all four books so far um, so when I go back and look over this I kind of have a little laugh to myself um, but it's really um, it's quite nice to do this actually because I also write down some of my research this way as well if there's any facts that you want to get across in your writing then um, this is an important way of deciding on, on where you're going to fit it in in your books or 
seeing if it's something that you've covered already or um, so that's what I do. So it doesn't need to be perfect and that I think is something that I really want to get across to you. It's about practice, it's about having confidence to put your ideas and thoughts on paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not after perfection here. We're after something fun and um, that's the important bit for you. So enjoy. Get started, get your pad, your pens, your pads ready and enjoy your creative writing course. And you'll see a few more videos from myself over the next few weeks and you'll see some from Leona soon. And yeah, enjoy. Bye guys. Take care and have fun.